Hello everyone. Welcome to second part of chapter control and coordination. The topic of my presentation today is neural tissue and synapse. The main points I will be talking about neuroglia cell, nerve cell structure and synapse. Let us start about the neural tissue or the nervous tissue. It is made up of two types of the cells, neurons and the neuroglia. Neurons, they are about 86 billion in human brain. First, we will study about the neuroglia cell. Neuroglia cells, these are the supporting cells. Here the glia means the glue. These cells, they held together the neuron and it formed the nervous system. They are more in number than the neurons. Their ratio is 3 as to 1. Means neuroglia cell number, it is more compared to nerve cell. Glia cells are the support you. They do not participate directly in synaptic reaction or electrical signaling. They maintain ionic balance of the nerve cell. They also modulate the rate of nerve, nerve signals. They have the ability to maintain the signaling. They do not have axon and dendron like structure. They prevent the injury of the neural tissue. The human nervous system, it is divided into two parts, central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. In central nervous system, the neuroglia cells present, there are four types named as ependymal cell, oligodendrocyte cells, astrocytes and the microglia. While in the peripheral nervous system, two types of glia cells are present. These are satellite cells and the Shawn cells. Let us study about the astrocyte. It is a glia cell present in central nervous system. It is star shaped. Look at the figure. The green color structure is the astrocyte. It binds the nerve cell with the blood vessel. It maintains blood brain barrier. They regulate the transmission of electrical impulse. Microglia cell, they are also present in the central nervous system. They are very small in size with a few branching structure. This cell, they derive from the stem cell or the monocyte cells. They are phagocytic in nature, like macrophage. They go to the site of the injury. They collect dead neurons and the cell debris and digest them. They act like a scavenger. Next cell, it is the oligodendrocyte. They are very close to nerve cell. Look at the picture. The pink color body, it is a oligodendrocyte. They are close in contact with the axon structure of the nerve cell. They secrete a secretion which is lipid in nature. The secretion, it is coated around the axon and it forms myelin sheath. Oligodendrocyte, they myelinate only the nerves cell present in central nervous system. The brain and the spinal cord has a ventricles. Ventricles is nothing but the cavities or the canals. This cavity, it is aligned by a layer of cell. It is called ependymal cell. These cells are the glia cells. These glia cells, they are responsible for the secretion of cerebrospinal fluid. It is a nourishing fluid. Next type of neuroglia cells, they are present in peripheral nervous system and that is the satellite cell. This cell, it surrounds the sympathetic and the parasympathetic ganglia. 
they help to regulate the chemical environment next glia cell it is the shawn cell it is of two type myelinated shawn cell and the non myelinated shawn cells myelinated shawn cell it gives the secretion which form the myelin sheath around the axon look at the figure the yellow color branch it is the axon around that the myelin sheath is present which is formed by purple color body that is the shawn cells myelin sheath it is not a continuous sheath it is interrupted at certain places next type of the cell present in nervous system it is the nerve cell they are also called as the neurons they are structural and functional unit of nervous system the neuron cell has a three distinct structure cell body axon and dendrites cell body in which the centrally placed nucleus is present around that cytoplasm is present cell body it gives the small branching structure called as a dendrites and a single elongated long axis which arises from the cell body it is called axon axon further it gives a branching structure called synaptic terminals with the help of that the signals it is passed student look at the picture here we can see the structure of the myelinated axon the axon it is covered by myelin sheath this myelin sheath it is formed by the shawn cells it is not a continuous layer it is interrupted at certain place and that part it is called as node of ranvier where the myelin coating it is absent now let us move on classification of the neurons neurons they are classified on the basis of presence of number of the branches they are unipolar bipolar pseudo unipolar and the multipolar in unipolar neuron the single axis it is arise from the cell body that's why they are called unipolar uni means the single the single axis is present in the unipolar neurons second type it is a bipolar the cell body or the cyton it gives a two branching structure look at the figure you can see over here the two long branches it is coming from the cyton body and that's why this neuron it is called as a bipolar neuron such type of the neurons it is present in retina of human eye next type it is a pseudo unipolar pseudo means the false it appears a false unipolar cyton structure unipolar neuron structure because in the beginning it gives a just a single branch and later on that branch it divide into a branching structure so this cell it is the pseudo unipolar and the last one it is a multipolar neuron in which cyton body or the cell body it gives many small branching structure it is called dendrite and the single long axis it is called axon such cells they are called multipolar as a many branching structure is present neurons they are also classified on the basis of its function sensory neuron motor neuron and the associated neuron sensory neuron it carry the impulse from sense organ towards the central nervous system as they carry the sense they are called as a sensory neuron second type of the neuron it is a motor neuron these are the neuron which is present in brain or in the central nervous system and they carry the impulse towards the body muscles or the gland the third type of the neuron it is a associated neuron you can see in the picture this associated neuron it is present between the sensory neuron and the motor neuron 
this associated neuron it connect the sensory neuron with the motor neuron it acts like a mediator it carry the impulse from the sensory neuron and it convey that impulse towards the motor neuron let us see about the nerve the nerves again they are classified into two types sensory nerves and the motor nerves sensory nerves they are also known as afferent nerves they carry the impulse from the sensory receptor towards the brain while motor nerves they are also called as the efferent nerves they carry the impulse away from the brain towards the muscles and the gland receptors these are the sensitive regions which receive the stimuli student look at the figure here the pink color cord like structure it is a tract the tracts is nothing but it is a large bundle of nerve fibers or the nerves or the axons which are present in brain and the spinal cord these are the neural pathway they carry the impulse from brain towards the spinal cord or from the spinal cord towards the brain student now we have to study about the different layers present around the axon and the nerve for the better understanding look at the figure which is given in the blue color the first layer it is a neurilemma it is a plasma membrane of the shawn cell shawn cell it is covered around the axon they form the myelin sheath axon itself it is covered by a layer of connective tissue it is called endoneurium axons together it forms a bundle and on bundle a covering which is present it is called as a perineurium that is the covering of nerve because bundle of nerve fiber together it forms a nerve the peripheral nerves they are covered by a connective tissue layer it is called as a epineurium this all the three layers we can see easily in the figure which is given in the yellow color student up till now we have studied about the structure of the nerve cell and the classification of the nerve cell now we have to study about the junction or the synapse which is present between the nerve cells the nerve cells they have the minute gap and this minute gap it is called as a synaptic cleft through that synaptic cleft the impulse it is transmitted with the help of a neurotransmitter material to understand the transmission of nerve impulse through synapse we will study first the properties of nerve fibers the nerve fiber it is the axon of the nerve cell axon has polarized membrane they have ability to receive the impulse after receiving the impulse it get excited and it enter into a state of activity after receiving the impulse axon transmit this impulse further to understand the property of excitation and the conduction of the impulse look at the figure which is given below it shows how the impulse it is received at dendrite and it is further transmitted through axon we know that we have the five sense organ this sense organ it receives the stimulus the stimulus it is of two type external stimulus and the internal stimulus because of that the nerve muscle or the organ it get excited the intensity of the stimulus has again the three types threshold stimulus subliminal stimulus and the supraliminal stimulus the threshold stimulus it having minimum intensity 
it is effective to produce the impulse subliminal stimulus it is a weak intensity stimulus they do not produce impulse the supraliminal stimulus these are the stimulus they are very strong but they can produce the same type of the impulse as it is produced because of threshold stimulus though its intensity it is the more or it is the strong next property of nerve fiber is the summation effect that is the addition effect the single stimulus if it is a weak it does not gives the impulse formation but such a weak stimulus if they are quick one after another they may produce the impulse due to the addition next property it is a refractory period it is a time interval present in the millisecond during which no fail to respond to a stimulus even though the stimulus have minimum intensity or the threshold stimulus next property is a synaptic delay impulse require about 0.3 to 0.5 millisecond to cross the synapse this time is required to release the neurotransmitter from the axon terminal and for the excitation of the next neuron in the synapse that is called synaptic delay next property it is a synaptic fatigue the fatigueness or the tiredness is because of neurotransmitter as the fatigueness is there the rate of transmission of the nerve impulse across the synapse it takes a halt temporarily next property it is a velocity the velocity is the rate of transmission of the impulse it is higher in the homeotherms than in the poikilotherm homeotherm these are the animal their body temperature it remains constant for example human being the poikilothermic animals these are the animal their body temperature it change with the change in environmental temperature so in the poikilothermic animal the rate of transmission of the impulse it is slow compared to homeotherm the rate of transmission of the impulse in case of medullary nerve fiber it is a faster than the non medullary nerve fiber as in the medullary nerve fiber myelin sheath is present and the node of ranvier is present so here impulse it jump from one node of ranvier to the next node of ranvier and that's why the rate of transmission of the impulse it is fast synaptic transmission it is the process by which impulse from presynaptic neuron it is conducted to postsynaptic neuron or the postsynaptic nerve cell it is of two types electrical synapse and the chemical synapse electrical synapse it is observed in the animals lower animals cylindrids annelids mollusks arthropods and the fishes let us study first about the electrical synapse we know synapse is the region of a junction of nerve cell which allow the transmission of the impulse in electrical synapse the junctional cells they are very close to each other and thus the gap is very less hence the impulse transmission is the fast in electrical synapse this type of the synapse it is present in our body where the fast response is required for the defense of the body the transmission of the impulse it may be unidirectional or the bidirectional next type of synapse it is a chemical synapse in chemical synapse the chemical signals send to the neuron 
or the non neuron cells such as glands and the muscles the neuromuscular junction it is the chemical synapse between the neuron and the muscle cells let us study about the transmission of nerve impulse through chemical synapse exon terminal or the exon knob is having vesicles vesicles are small balloon like structure contain neurotransmitter material that is acetylcholine when impulse reach up to exon terminal the calcium ion channels get open and calcium ions from extracellular fluid it enters through this channel into the cell the increased concentration of calcium ions in the exon terminal initiate the fusion of vesicles with presynaptic membrane and vesicle it releases the neurotransmitter substance into synaptic cleft synaptic cleft it is the gap gap between the presynaptic neuron and the postsynaptic neuron neurotransmitter acetylcholine it bind with the receptors present on postsynaptic cell membrane and postsynaptic cell membrane channels get open and the transmission of impulse takes place once the impulse is passed through neurotransmitter get destroyed by choline esterase and the synapse is kept ready to receive the next impulse hope you understood today's topic thank you for watching this video stay tuned for further updates